start this with uh, a small video we guys have made. No, you won't. Uh, we're launching our Happy Teas, an organic collection by Cottonwood. And uh, here's a video for you. Being happy is easy. You just need to say no to a few things and yes to some others. No to shortcuts, yes to responsibility. No to greed, yes to caring. No to pesticide coffee farms, yes to principles which improve the livelihood of farmers. No to teas, yes to happy teas. Happy teas from Cottonwood. A range of t-shirts for men made with 100% organic cotton. So what you wear is how you feel. And Kalki here, that you direct these questions regarding cotton wool and the happy teas. Just a humble request. Thank you. So I, I would like uh, uh, Naveen to speak a bit about uh, what the happy teas are, what cotton wool is, followed by Kalki talking about that. Just a second. Yeah. Naveen Lekraj. Okay. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, basically, Cotton World has been a brand that's been around for 30 years. We've been totally dedicated to making garments out of high quality natural fibers. So everything you see in the store is absolutely made out of a natural fiber. Uh, what we're trying to do is take a pledge that by the year 2030, we want to be as sustainable as possible. And to, so for ourselves and to enable the customers to have a a sustainable and contribute to the well-being of communities, workers, farmers to recycle and basically be as sustainable as possible and Happy Teas is the first initiative in this whole uh, exercise. So all the Happy Teas are basically made out of uh, natural organically sourced cotton and we've tied up with an NGO are going to go to these to this organization who's working with over 120 villages in Vardha and they're probably helping 20,000 people. So they basically are trying to make them you know, move into <coughs> organic farming and also, I mean, we went and saw them, we did the shoot over there and it's a wonderful experience. They actually, the, when they use the GMO cotton, they are you know, using pesticides and not able to grow food for themselves on the farms. So they're actually teaching them how to move to organic farming and they actually grow their own food. So there's no pesticide, water's being conserved, the soil gets more fertile. So they're doing a great job. So proceeds from all these t-shirts will go to them. So that's what the initiative is about and that's what we are launching today. Uh, Kaki, I'd like you to say a few words about this, it's okay. Thank you. Samit. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I'm always very, very happy uh, to come and do my commitments for Cotton World because uh, they never ask anything unreasonable of me and I pretty much agree with, with uh, their point of view and their philosophy. So it's uh, really great, I think, that they've started with Happy Teas. It's just a first step into a, a future of sustainability. I think uh, they have started with this uh, men's line, but they will eventually get to a point where they want all their products to be sustainable. Uh, we shot uh, over there, and it was a really intense day, I think. No, we, were, we, we, we had to leave from Nagpur and drive four hours to get there um, very, very early in the morning to get the, 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 the right light and everything. But uh, the farmers were amazing, very shy extremely shy to be sh shooting so we had to like get them to talk to us a little bit and uh, you know just like be a bit relaxed uncle I was giving him a massage because he just he was like, like he didn't know what to do in front of the camera so um, it was they, they had a great time I think and I think what uh, Chetna Vikas as an NGO is doing is is fabulous uh, helping uh, farmers also understand the long-term uh, future of farming. So, uh, you know, I think we 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 have this uh, burden here of often buying cheap pesticides, which are rejects from the West. You know, uh, pesticides which are actually been banned already in the West are being sold cheaply in 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 developing countries. So. 
uh, to stop that and to stop GMO uh, cotton, which in in the long term is not sustainable and takes up a lot of water. Um, it's really important that people understand organic farm farming uh, as as a future way of. Uh, working in our country, especially cotton farming, because we have a country with one of the most uh, high cotton farming uh, products, production in the world. So yeah, all this is uh, wonderful. It's small steps, but I think that everything in life that's worth it happens through small steps. So really glad to be part of it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Kathy. If you guys have any questions uh, for uh, Laveen and Kalki, uh, now would be the time. I mean, I was thrilled. I said yes. <laughs> I, I don't think there's a... Uh, as I said, I think the philosophy of Cotton World goes very well with my philosophies. Uh, and, uh, you know, obviously I wanted to know more about the NGO and how they're working with these farmers. Uh, but yes, I completely agree with the project and really happy to be part of it. Okay, Kalki was always there in your mind. You want Kalki to be a part of it and... Yeah, we basically I think uh, Kalki is the perfect fit because she kind of... Uh, very vocal about what she believes in and we've been a brand like that for 30 years we've been very you know sure that we only want to do natural fabrics and nothing else so it's always been i mean it was a perfect fit for us also now we know each other because we've been working together for more than a year yeah so no very honestly myself eight then killing so I didn't have time to go and visit the villages and things. Uh, but of course, we all know about the difficulty that farmers are facing at the moment, uh, the, the kind of heavy loans that they're having to deal with. And, uh, and I think that it's really important for, for NGOs to, to educate uh, people on the sustainable angle because that's what's going to change things in the long run. Uh, we might find quick solutions in the meantime, but the important thing is that in the long term, uh, we don't destroy our farmers' lives and their lands. Kalki, there are so many things happening in India. You know, when you talk about farmer, there's a side, there's a side yeah. number of number of societies happening. You know, yeah. though you, you you are associating yourself with cotton wool, this is I mean, I'm repeating myself. It's fantastic. You know? But do you, what message do you give to the farmer? You know, who are in in depth of loan or there's so many problems they're facing. What would be your message to the farmer? I don't think I'm in any position to give a message. I think it's an extremely tough life uh, and a lot of farmers are put into a, a corner in which they have very little choice. Uh, only recently I read about a family that burned themselves in the collector's office or something. So uh, yeah, I, I, I just hope that all of us can take, I think it's about each one of us, we shouldn't be telling farmers what to do. We should be doing something. Each of us has a responsibility in the things that we buy, in the things that we choose to consume. Uh, none of us are, are pure, perfect human beings. I have a lot of products which are harmful for the environment, which are harmful, but I'm slowly trying to understand where I can change my lifestyle, where it's not going to you know, drastically affect me uh, where I can afford to buy something which is a little, might be a little more expensive, but is is helping somebody, yeah. Okay, you, know, you, you started this, uh, this initiative, where, you know, you are avoiding GMO farming, you know, where they are, they'll be saving more, more of water. Uh, is, there, is there anything then the pipeline where, you know, the cotton works some amount will go to, to, the, to the families who have done suicide or who are suffering? Is there something then? Uh, no, there's nothing like that, but as I said, we've tied up with Chetna Vikas, and they are basically they have probably over 120 villages under their, uh, you know, who they're helping and probably about 20,000 total people. So they actually teach them how to organically farm, how to actually grow food on that same farm because they're not using pesticides so they can actually eat, they don't have to spend money on food and it just helps the soil. So in the long run, I mean, we're not giving it individually to them, we're giving it to the NGO. And they've been around for about 30 years and we actually visited them, saw everything that they do and they're doing a fantastic job. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank
I'm not the best early morning person for sure. Especially when early morning means like four or five in the morning. <laughs> but uh, but you know the beautiful light that you get at six a.m. is irreplaceable. So yeah, the photographers are always very happy. Okay, after the what's next? What's happening with the Ribbon, right now. Please go watch it. <laughs> Uh, uh, if you guys want any coaches with Kalki and Laveen, uh, we can take them now. <laughs>